So if you have like a decent salmon population, the river you can almost expect to um, insert whether it be salmon red in a spot like this. Um, you have a nice riffle, um, and the salmon like to spawn like the crest of the riffle, so that's where uh, it transitions between the tail end of a pool or the back of a run to a riffle where the water velocity is increasing. Um, and then the juveniles will live in this riffle for the first first year of their life. Uh, so yeah, salmon red here. We had a very large depression on the upstream size. You can see the average size rock in the actual red itself is about, about this size. Um, so it takes quite a large fish to move that. Uh, and you can see that final depression on the upstream end is usually reflective of the size of the fish. So that upstream de depression is, is, is quite big. It's like 20 some inches long. Um, so that you probably had a five or six pound fish making that red. And then the location is pretty salmon-like as well. So it has a flow sh flat section that has increase in water velocity right before a riffle. Um, so yeah, this is definitely definitely a salmon red. It's pretty confident calling this a salmon red. Um, that final depression on the upstream end of it is probably about two feet by one feet. So that's relative of a pretty decent sized fish. Um, it's down to pretty well bedrock. There's not really any rock left in that depression. And then the average size rock in that, uh, that tail out is about cobble, between cobble and cobble size. It's big, bigger stuff than what we've seen in the brook trout reds. So here we got kind of atypical trout red area. We have one, two, three, four, yeah, four or more trout reds. So trout typically, if there's a lot of trout in an the area, they'll spawn in the kind of a condensed area. Um, they won't move as much rock as a salmon, so even though you have a big red area, um, some people might jump the gun and call it a salmon red, but you kind of got to look at that upstream depression and just see the size of the rock that the fish is moving and that final depression. Because like I said, for salmon, it's relative of the size of the fish. So if you have a bunch of small, um, like soluble sized depressions, that's reflective of like a 12 to 16 or 18 inch rookie, opposed to like a two foot depression, which is going to be a salmon. Um, but here you can see the average size substrate is more kind of like toony size, uh, pebbly, some cobble mixed in there. Uh, but yeah, we probably have about a three meter by three meter area of reds here.